yesterday we were talking a little bit about this and, and I related a little bit about some of my background. Before I was doing this business, which is training and speaking and all kinds of front of the room presentation kinds of stuff, um, I was a VP of marketing for a software company. And uh, in some companies, they won't let the marketing people near the analysts, okay? Because they have a separate person or group of people that talk to the analysts. If you're a public company, are the analysts important? The financial analysts? Okay. So once a quarter, we would have an analyst call, a conference call. And we would invite analysts to come in. They would, sometimes they would come in and be there in person, but most of the time they were on the phone. And let's talk about our message and our goal this quarter, okay? Now the CEOs, we're making, we're planning this meeting. The CEO's in the room, I'm in the room, several other people are in the room, and we're talking about our message and our goal. What do you think our message and our goal was to the analysts for the quarter? We're about to announce our results. We had a great, great quarter, we want you to understand. <laughs> What's that? We had a great quarter, we want you to understand. What if we didn't have a great quarter? <laughs> We're talking about some smart people now, Rodney. We're talking about financial analysts. These are people that are not going to, you know, a snow job is not going to work with these guys. We're building for the next quarter. We're building for the next quarter. Challenges. The what? It's tough. Believe me, it's tough. When, when we had a great quarter, it was easy planning for that call. When we had a bad quarter, it was tough. What are we going to say? Because we knew that 10 minutes after the call, our stock was going to go down. We just didn't know how far. We just didn't know how far. <laughs> and, and so there's a variety of messages that you can give. The goal, obviously, is to keep our stock from going down and hopefully to get it to go up. It's, to, it's a message to potential investors about why we are a good investment. That's what it is. It's not the numbers. You could say the numbers speak for themselves, but if the numbers speak for themselves, why did we have an analyst phone call? We could just publish the numbers and let them put, do whatever they want to do. The numbers don't speak for themselves. Let me tell you, if you get up once a month and present numbers, you need to think about what your message and what your goal is. If you're a regional manager and you're talking about what did my region do? You know, one of the things that drives me nuts about business is that we, we, we focus so much on the numbers sometimes that we don't get the true picture of what's really going on in the organization, in the region, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Do you agree with that? Do the numbers tell the whole story? The numbers don't tell the whole story. The question is, what's the story? If I'm getting up and I'm going to spend 10 minutes or whatever the time is talking about my region this past quarter, I want to give a message about what the region is doing. Yeah, the numbers do speak for themselves. The numbers have a message, but I'm not here to just tell you what the numbers are. We don't need me for that. I could just give you a spreadsheet. There's another reason why I'm up here. And I want you to think about that. Every time you get in front of a group, be clear on your message, be clear on your goal. Sometimes you need to spend more time thinking about what's my message and what's my goal than you do putting the whole presentation together. When you get up, make sure you know what you're going to say and what it is that you, what kind of change, what kind of switches you want to flip in the minds of the people who are sitting there listening to you because that's what you're doing. You want a switch to flip. You want them to see things in a different way. You've got a goal. You want them to get it. And then you want them to do something as a result of that. If you don't know what you want them to see, if you don't know what you want them to do as a result of you being there, then you don't have a message and you don't have a goal. You're just getting up and throwing some numbers out. Why are you wasting your time? Give the numbers to somebody else and let them do it. Or figure out how to do it yourself. 